Okay, Google has finally launched the Pixel 7a. But you might be thinking, is the Pixel 7a waterproof? Let me tell you in details. So when it comes to water resistance, all company can carry out their own test in their own labs and the standard says up to 6 meters for up to 30 minutes but then it is up to the companies. They can even claim up to 3 meters, 1 meter. It's a bit vague. But one thing clearly you have to keep in mind is that over time the seal will get old and harden and that simply means it might even allow water to get inside and damage the component. So this whole IP rating stuff can only work on a new phone the best. So according to Google, the Pixel 7a is actually IP67. That simply means it's not waterproof, but it is actually water resistant. But then you're probably thinking how much it is different from the IP68 and what is the real difference? Let me tell you. First and foremost thing, what is the ingress protection rating or IP rating? This rating actually is a way of showing the effectiveness of the electrical enclosure in blocking foreign bodies such as like dust, moisture and many other stuffs. Well, the first digit is actually a separate thing from the last one. We call it IP67, IP68, but it's kind of like IP6 and 7 separately. In this case, we're going to talk about the IP67 and IP68. But before that, let's talk about the common number, the 6. Well, the first digit of the IP rating indicates the level of enclosure protection against the ingress of solid particles like dust and stuff like that. And in this case, 6 is the highest number. That simply means it's a complete protection against dust. No dust can enter inside. The second digit is something else. The second digit of the IP rating indicates the level of enclosure protection against liquids. In the case of second digit, the 6 and 7 are not the best rating. And the Pixel 7a actually comes with the IP67 rating. And they are phones with the IP68 rating. You're probably thinking, what is the difference, the real difference? Well, actually, IP68 provides protection of immersion depth of at least 1 meter and is sometimes considered as total protection against solid and moisture. However, this can be quite vague because the manufacturer is the only one who can actually specify how much the limit is. In the case of IP67 rating though, up to 1 meter and the test duration is actually 30 minutes. So the Pixel 7a can be submerged under water for 30 minutes and up to 1 meter. Also, do keep that in mind, the salt water and the normal water is totally different. We are talking about fresh water. So basically, the difference between IP67 and IP68 is that IP68 enclosure is rated to be protected from immersion of at least 1 meters and up to 30 minutes. And this could be 6 meters or even more than that. But that depends on the manufacturer. The time and the depth can be more than 1 meter and 30 minutes. But IP67 is only a depth of 1 meter and only for 30 minutes. I hope you got all the details of the IP rating and the IP67 versus IP68 rating. And yes, if you want, you can get some crazy cool wallpapers up on my website, link down below. Until the next one, bye and take care.